Hello guys and welcome back. So today I'm bringing you a new build order guide and if you've not known I've been on a little bit of a mission to prove that the Mongol Lancer Rush isn't OP because of the uh, HP bonus that the Mongols get. It's purely because Lancers just provide such an amazing power spike for that early part of Castle Age. So in my bid to try and uh, prove that I've been Lancer Rushing with the Tatars and I've got a new Tatar Lancer Rush build order. I've already got one, uh, it's for 14 minutes. This one is a little bit quicker at uh, 13 minutes and 35 for the fast castle. So I think that's really important uh, with these fast castle builds, get them as fast as possible. Uh, so this does include a tower as well. So you probably could do it even faster without tower, but um, yeah, it's gone really, really well. Uh, I've had multiple personal bests uh, with it. And I'm currently 1659 ELO, which is uh, something like 1,800 in the world. And number 65 in the UK. So, <laughs> uh, But the build order is um, five on sheep. So rather than six, we're going to five. And then number six goes out to all the boar. And then we add villager seven onto the sheep, um, onto the boar as well. So we have, still have seven on the sheep, but it's just the order in which we lure the boar changes. Now the reason for that is because of the um, extra like food that you get on the sheep as tatars. Um, if you just gather one, it will be perfect timing by the time you get the first boar in to um, you know that that first sheep will be finished. So yeah, it's really really good. So once you've got seven on food, we're going to send four over to wood. As you can see, we're going to make two houses as well. Probably didn't need to do that as early as I am doing here. Probably could have done it with the uh, you know the final wood villager to come out. Uh, just lure the ball when you need it, as we are doing here with an existing villager. And we're also going to start pushing the deer in as well. But now we've got our four on wood. We're going to just keep adding villagers on to the, sh uh, the boar here until we get up to pop 16. So total pop is 16. So I think it's another four on uh, on boar. So we just have one. We'll have another three coming out. That'll take us up to population 16 and that's all you need for the boar uh, and the town center food. Um, which is quite a lot. But the reason why it's quite a lot is because we're not going too heavy onto berries. We're only going two onto berries after this. So I'll just fast forward. I'm going to go two onto berries now. So the reason why we're doing two on berries is because of that extra food that we're getting on the sheep. We can kind of um, delay it a little bit. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're getting a faster uh, gather rate from the sheep. And obviously we're not having to walk all the way over to the berries. So we're actually, uh, you know, it's a bit more efficient basically. And that's what enables us to get up early. So now we've got the two on berries. We're going to go two over to gold. And then we'll go three to wood. And that should mean that we'll have enough gold by the time we reach Castle Age. We'll have enough wood and enough food and everything else. Uh, and we should hit the Castle Age at 1335. So you'll notice there's no loom. So it's one of my no loom strats. I do prefer not to get loom anymore. Um, don't know why. It's a bit risky. But uh, it does mean you can get up a little bit faster. So when we hit the feudal age, that's when we're going to research loom. And then we're going to add one more villager. So we don't need to do anything at this point other than add a barracks with a wood villager. Uh, make sure that's up before you hit the feudal age. But yeah, when we get to the feudal age, we're just going to fast forward. We'll um, send uh, research loom and send more villagers to gold. And we're going to make a stable and a blacksmith, uh, blacksmith as well. So you might find that you've not quite got enough wood. Just you know, take your time. Uh, if you need to gather a little bit more and then just chuck more villagers onto the blacksmith, then just do that. Um, shouldn't be waiting for long. It's a little bit tight, but uh, you should be fine. And you should be able to just you know add some walls in there just to fully block that off as well, and uh, should be able to wall off your your berries as well. Um, and then as soon as you've got enough wood make a ta uh, tower on your gold if you need to but all of those villages on the sheep are just going to go to the straggler trees to start off with just whilst I get myself rearranged we're going to move four from uh, the sheep over to the berries and we're just going to add farms with the rest of them uh, I think we did send one from sheep over to gold as well sorry so uh, yeah 
but it's all on the build order list here. So four, four to berries once you've clicked up to castle, one to gold, and then the rest of them are just going on to farms. On your way up, you want to be researching um, the bloodlines, as you would with the Mongol Lancer Rush. So essentially, you just play it the same way as you would Mongol Lancers. There, get your get your bloodlines and, and whatever. And there we go. We we hit the castle age at 13 minutes and 36, and just turned into 36. So about one second out of time across the whole game so far, which is fantastic. And at this point, just keep adding um, farms, keep adding step lancers. I've not bothered making a tower on this one, but I could have done. Uh, I certainly do that in some of my 1v1s. But as you can see, that's pretty much all there is to it. We're just going to keep on adding farms, keep on adding lancers. Should be able to come out and um, uh, engage with the enemy. Now, I think the only problem with this is don't throw your lancers away. If you know, do a bit of damage, but if you're not quite got the mass, um, just back off uh, until you do have the mass, and then you can engage again. Um, you'll find with this is it, basically you've just got to be a little bit more careful with your lancers than you perhaps would be with Mongols. That's the only difference uh, between this and Mongol lancers. But as soon as you've got a decent mass of them, you can quite easily just dominate. Uh, as you would with the Mongols, so we're going to take out that little group of uh, uh, AI army here. Focus fire the uh, archers if you come up with a, a group of skirms and archers like this. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, just as a little extra guide on here: three, three more to farms, one more to gold, three more to farms. You don't really need that extra one on gold if you don't need. Um, really, you only need four to maintain uh, production, um, lancer production. But you just need to get up to fifteen farms essentially. That's your, your, your win condition here, if you like. Uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, like I say, this has got me to sixteen fifty nine elo, my highest ever elo and uh it's kind of crazy so yeah let me know how you uh how you get on with this one guys and let's see people moaning about tatars in reddit instead of mongols cheers